Good day everyone, it's Nick here on the ZX Spectrum 128K. It's a homebrew day and we're looking at Black Sea Treasure Hunters, uh, published by Mananuk, if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, he's uh, based in Spain, we'll redefine the controls here, but it's an underwater adventure. It's been created by uh, using AGD, which is Arcade Game Designer. Essentially, you're a submarine captain called Robinson. You must rescue treasures from the depths of the Black Sea. Uh, what's up against you is a dwindling oxygen supply and nasties as well. So here we go. You're about to dive into the depths of the Black Sea in search of treasure. So there I am. I'm this submarine here. Avoid the nasties now. You can see my hearts there on the left. That's lives free. Any contact with any of the other stuff will dwindle my um, uh, battery, which is now on 95. And also as well, ticking down next to that in that blue cylinder is the amount of oxygen I got left. Now, if you bump into a cylinder, you can replenish that, but I don't think there's too many about. So, AGD, let's see how far I can get. There's good music playing all the way through this, and it's been put together uh, well. So here we go. It reminds me exploration-wise as a few um, other games, uh, most notably Forward to the Past by Slowly Soft, which is well worth looking at. It feels pretty similar to that, really, which isn't a bad thing. Hooray! Right, now, can I get all the treasures? The game ends as soon as you've collected all the treasures on the uh, level. Uh, might go to another level as well. There's no inertia here at all, which I would have liked a bit of that. Um, now, there's a blue mine up the top there. I think that might fall down or get triggered. They're left by um, pirates. There we go. So that normally will fall on you, but I've avoided it with great skill and dexterity. Hooray for me! Now, if you want to track this game down, I think, I'm not quite sure, I might have downloaded it from Spectrum Computing, uh, or I might have done it from the author's site, I can't remember. But anyway, it's Black Sea Treasure Hunters, if you want a look out for it. You can turn the music if you want to, but I won't. Looks like there's a door there. So a couple of jellyfish and an arrowfish, I think that's cool. Now, I can't get through there. It's closed, big nose. Yes, oxygen dwindling down all the time. You can't hang around here or you're doomed. And I've been hanging around a bit too long admiring the scenery. I could, I do like a good underwater adventure. Love scuba dive back in the day by Jarrell Software. This is an interesting one, some crabs going across. Uh, yeah, there's some, there's some pretty uh, nice ones about. But this one is, uh, you know, more in your traditional platform adventure. I don't know if you, you are into games or designing your own games, but if you want to get a start on it and you're not very good at coding, check out AGD, which is Arcade Game Designer. I think that's available from Spectrum Computing as well. Not a bad place to start. I think you need a bit of time. You can add your own music in if you want to. But uh, if I had loads of time, I didn't run this channel, then I would have a go at designing my own game, because that seems like a whole load of fun. Right, here we go. This is 2021, uh, this one. Not sure if I mentioned it, but it is. Uh, looks like each screen has got its own name. This one's called The Cave. Let's get into the alcove there. Uh, these reviews aren't about expert gameplay, although I'm not doing too bad here, because I sort of like know what to do roughly. It's about seeing uh, how you got on in your first second go. Would you played it again? And I, I would have done. I certainly would have done. Right. What's this one? Oh, this is still of The Cave. Maybe they haven't got individual names after all. So we collected some gold bullion. Oxygen's not looking too great at the moment. Uh, there's no counter telling you how many objects you've taken. Uh, now, here's an, uh, a fish coming towards me that's attracted by your movement. I think that's called uh, an abyssal fish or abyssal sucker. Off we go. So, we've got a key. We've got a key at the moment so that we can probably go back and collect, um, open the door we saw early on. Um, then there's an object to collect on the right as well. We can get past lobster face. Uh, looks like there's a rival pirate submarine there also looking for stuff, but I've got that. I've got a Game Boy console. Well, well done me. I never owned one of those back in the day, but I did own a Game Boy Advance. So nice colour in this game. Um, it's quite straightforward what you need to do. It's playable straight away, which I like. I still slightly prefer Slowly Softs because of the uh, level design um, uh, forward to the uh, uh, past, but this is pretty good as well. It's pretty special. It's got good music pumping along on it, and I do feel like I want to go back to complete it. Almost out of oxygen. Where's it going to put me now? Yeah, I didn't see. Whoops! I didn't see any oxygen tanks at all to replenish uh, where I was. So down to two lives. Back to a full battery, though. Let's just get back to that door. So I'm getting quite far on my first go. Oh, that wasn't clever, Nick. Uh, I like that the, you you have an energy that dwindles rather than dying straight away, so that gives you a bit of a chance to get a bit further. 
and maybe be a bit a cavalier if you're running out of uh, of your battery strength or oxygen uh, going forward. Uh, nice um, varied nasties in this one. Uh, few animated uh, cycles, but not a great deal. Right, let's get in the alcove here. There's been so many good homebrews in 2021. We're into 2022 now at time of recording. So hopefully that continues and we get some better ones. Also, AGD has made so many games possible. Uh, the danger is uh, when games are made on that, they all start feeling a little bit similar. So I do like it when ones pick different genres or use something slightly different as well to stand out from the crowd, which is great. Right, more gold coins for me. Gold coins. Oh, that's an interesting place. Uh, thank you to the subscribers there, and in particular the members, which are keeping this channel running as we try and review as much as we can in the continuing battle to beat stress. Uh, this channel aims to be um, a gap or a, a break between reality and the normal life. If I could ever do this full time, then that'd be fantastic. And it's all down to the amount of members we get. So thank you as well to people that donated in the live streams too. Uh, let's just try and complete Black Sea, the treasure hunters. I've never been to the Black Sea. I don't think it is colored black unless there's been a big oil leak since I've recorded this. Right now, so there's a, a, a abyssal fish coming towards me. It's a crab there and a, there's an object. Oh, that was bad. And oh, look at that. The pirate mine fell on my bonce. So you need to trigger those and get out of the way quickly. If they fall onto you, it's game over straight away. Let's try and trigger this. Nice bit of shading on the mines. Oof. We can go over this one. That's it. I think we're there, aren't we? We're there. Good. Next screen. Yeah, the screens look different enough from each other. It's been designed uh, fairly well. Look, look, and there's oxygen tanks. Now, I needed those earlier on. So I'm already, I'm already up to um, a maximum anyway. It's three uh, minutes. You can't you can't um, surface for more energy, unfortunately. We've got the Atlantine Medallion. Not quite sure how many uh, things we need to collect, but I think I'm probably quite a way into the game at the moment. I do feel like I want to complete the thing. Yes, there we go. If you want to see... Uh, uh, other Spectrum games, click on my username, takes you to the channel page, oh that's it, is it? Uh, click, uh, takes you to the channel page, click on the playlist tab and you can see all the Spectrum games there or whatever computer you want to focus on. At the time of recording, we, well, I think we've reviewed about 900 games, which is quite a lot. Uh, what's the term? I think I've got to go for another quick one. We do this as a speed run, see if I can find any other different areas. Let's go, let's take what we've learned and speed forward. Go, 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 Hugo. Don't know what this music is. I think it's an original track. I don't recognise it at all from anywhere else. Bom 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 bom. Forward. Oh. Right. Hang on. There's a lamp up there which we got from before. So that'll be two items. Yes, I'm speeding it now. I'm not scared of the scenery here. Magic lamp. If you've completed this one since the review, or after it, or before it, <laughs> or any time really, uh, then let me know. Right, in the comment section below, creates a bit of activity on the channel as well. Uh, get past that jellyfish. I do try and include uh, everyone. I answer most comments. I don't answer all the comments, but I do answer most of them. Right, okay. Boof, that's that there. Good. Right, so this is better than last time, I think. We need to get the key there, so we need to go down. You remember this one last time? It was only a few minutes ago. Get the key. So through this, through this crazy maze, that's it. Don't need to be as cautious as I was before. It's just zip through like a mad person. I mean, you have to do this to get that, um, whoops, you have to get that oxygen before that runs out. We've only got two minutes left. So it's a bit of a speed test, really. Your first go will be sort of like a, a recce or exploration of where you are and how it works. Second go, you'll be a, a lot quicker. Uh, energy down to 40. I don't know if there's a way to replenish that. Come on, jellyfish, we ain't got time for you. And that's that crazy other creature as well. Into the alcove we go. There's some gold bullion. We can see down there in yellow. Boo, 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 boo. I've got it. Check that out. Right, we well, want that key. Get past the abyssal fish. If you are the abyssal fish, then comment in the comment section below. Why are you yellow? There's the key. Nice one. You found the key. Now there's a Game Boy Advance up here, which we need. Not the Game Boy Advance. It's a Game Boy, which we need to get. Game Boy Advance is one I had. Past the arrow fish. Past this hermit crab thing. Up there. Game Boy Advance. Game Boy, what's this? Calling it a Game Boy console. That's quite posh. Game Boy console. I suppose it is really. I call it a handheld. 
three lives still left. The abyssal fish is going very, very slow. We can trick, uh, trick it and trap it in there. You're tricked, abyssal fish. Pass this, uh, whatever it is. I call, I'll keep calling it a hermit crab. It looks like maybe a, maybe a lobster thing. Oh dear, I lost a bit of energy there. Time, I, I, I don't think, I think it's unavoidable losing your first life for this with the oxygen ticking down. We've only got 29 energy. Back up, let's go through the door. Oh, we need to get through this, this rubbish first. 55 seconds. 55 seconds. Right, we've got three lives though. We need a bit more cavalier than we are being. Bom, 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 bom. Oi. Right, hang on a minute. Now, there's more homebrews being reviewed than I could, well, being uh, released than I could possibly ever review, so I won't do all of them. I'll just have to pick and choose a little bit. I do get quite a lot of messages on Twitter for me to review various uh, games uh, by coders and stuff. Quite often they're on PC, which I don't tend to do as a rule. Uh, and there's a lot of Spectrum ones where I can't do all of them, I'm afraid. Uh, but I'll just do the odd one here and there as I see it. There we go. So don't feel aggrieved I haven't reviewed your particular game. I'm sure it's very, very good. But, uh, you know, I'm just one man doing it part-time. If I'm ever full-time, then things will change, but I'm just part-time. So I, I have to plan this like a military operation, a bit like if I was in a submarine uh, called uh, Captain Robinson in the, in the deep sea uh, trying to get loads of gems. Right. Captain Robinson can't answer all these emails, you know. He's, he's underwater getting gems. Boo, 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 boo. There's another abyssal fish there. Oops, I've run out. I had one second left there, but it's killed me early. Well, you know, it got in early. So when your fuel tank says one second left, it means you're dead. Right, okay, that's another thing. I, believe, I presume I've got... Score's 700, so I presume I've got seven items so far. Have I? Maybe I need ten. If you know how many items we need, let me know. If the author comments on this, sometimes they do, I will pin it to the top. Uh, quite often they do, actually. I've got eight items. It's nice when they do so. Makes you feel like I'm getting somewhere. But it's a good game. Good graphics. Good sound. Oh, no. I've been clobbered again. That's a cheap life to lose. Do watch those mines. They're probably the most dangerous thing in the game. Those uh, pirate mines. Just get in there. Trigger them. They drop fast. Over this one. Always be ready for a knockdown blow. Nine items. Thank you very much. Now the oxygen tanks, which I was a bit slow getting to, but we'll, we'll just we'll get a top up. Just a top up. Thank you very much. Nice graphics on the submarine. I like the propeller turning round at the back. That's nice to see. And it feels like it's wobbling a little bit as well. Uh, that's nice. Oh man, come on Nick. You've got 84. Let's go round it this way as before. Watch, I think, watch out for dark, whoa, watch out for dark blue stuff, that, that's what I would say. These have regenerated again, let's trigger that, come on. Why doesn't the, why doesn't the angelfish trigger, cool, that was close. That was Glen close. Right now, we're almost at a different bit of the game that we didn't get to before. See you later, abysmal eater. Through here. Good job these fish don't uh, don't uh, go in weird patterns, they just go left and right. The fishes on, and the sharks as well, on scuba dive went all over the place. They were very hard to predict those. Oh no, that was bad, Nick. 61, this is my last life, I think. Let's get through here. Two minutes, 16 left. Would like to see some more air tanks, please. Right, now let's, let's go to new territory. This is new. This is look quite cool. As a, it's the hull. As a kid, you'd love seeing these new bits. Oh, I've got too much battery left now. 31. These odd toadies. There's two women there. What are they? Nothing more alive than the memory. Oh dear. Bottom of your soul. Well, we collected that. I don't know what we did collect there, but we, we got to a bit. Either way we can go. Let's go this way. Probably the wrong way. All right. Now watch these. Watch these. So they're going to fall down and kill us straight away. Hmm, why is that not falling down? Uh... All oh, right, these ones, these ones don't fall down, so we're perfectly safe here. Oh, you, yeah, yeah, we're not perfectly safe. That lulled me into a full sense of security, and I've died again. That's better than dying. Well, I like this game. 
Uh, I like the music. The music is a bit mysterious. It feeds into an underwater world well. I like that it's easy to know what to do, and then you've got to perfect your uh, strategy. So a real good game. I would recommend this one. Another great homebrew uh, with AGD. That makes a really lot of good games uh, possible. So I hope you like having a look at that one. That was Black Sea Treasure Hunters on the ZX Spectrum 128K, published by Manuk Mananuk. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. It might be Manan UK, but I know they're based in Spain. Uh, if you've got any comments about this game, similar games homebrews or uh, anything spectrum wise then please put that in the comment section below until next time take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye goodbye